morning or early afternoon, I'm not sure. I'm busy trying to catch up with lots of garden jobs and I have these peas ready. They've been hardening off outside and I'm planting them out now. So yesterday this little bed was a mound of weeds but I don't I don't dig so I pulled the weeds out, I hoed, I put cardboard down to suppress any that I've left in and then I've covered the cardboard with stable manure and homemade compost and manure and homemade compost and I've watered that in with some liquid feed that I made last year so it should be the most fertile bed in the world almost and hopefully these peas will do really well. So I'm going to plant them along here and then in the centre there I've got beans to put in so I'm going to make a wigwam for the beans and then I might edge with some salads. So when I was out here yesterday it was really lovely and warm and sunny but I think um, I thought it was warmer than it was and I think I've got a bit of a chill so I'm a bit sniffly today so when I get these couple of jobs done I'll show you the herbs I'm going to be using to make a tea to fend off a cold so stay with us So, oh, it's the first time I've done um, a thing like this for beans. I've made uh, obelisks before, um, but this seems to give us more room for the beans going into the, into the ground. So we'll see anyway. And what I'll do is I will then brace this by tying it to, to this so that the wind won't be able to do too much damage. Okay, so I'll have to put the beans in now and then definitely need to get some herbs for this cold that's coming on. So I'll just put in the last of my lettuces and then I'm going to get my um, tea herbs to prevent this sniffle turning into a full cold. Hey, so there we go and I'll just water these in. Try not to get on the leaves but it's a bit difficult when they're just going in. In the watering can I have a liquid feed that I made with nettles and just let them steep. and it's a natural fertilizer. So let's head off to the herb garden and get a few bits and pieces. I've got my little basket. So I need to get rid of this sniffle. I need to stop it turning into a cold because I want to get on with my wall next. So in here, this is the herb garden. It's come on again since you last saw it. I'm going to go for some catnip and some thyme and some marjoram. So the catnip just taking enough for a little pot of tea. The catnip is a brilliant diaphoretic so that means it's going to help me to sweat out any little bugs that are making me feel sniffly and on the edge of a cold. And then I'm going to take some thyme because thyme is an antiviral anyway and it's got that delicious, it's a medicinal taste that makes you feel reassured that you're in safe hands and that you're going to be well. So I'm just going to take a little top. There, see it's just, it's a good handful. And now I'm going to get some wild marjoram. 
again it's very good for colds where did I put it I know I've transplanted it oh it's in a pot out here Yeah, I do love the taste of um, thyme. So this is the wild marjoram. Usually we use it for cooking, but again, it's a wonderful antibacterial. It's a wonderful herb to help you to sweat out toxins. And um, that's what's so wonderful about herb gardens that a lot of them you can use in your food as well as making teas and as well as making medicine. So I'll just pop in now and chop all this up nice and finely and make some tea leaves. And then I hope that I'll feel much better and I can get on with the wall. That's my next job today. Yeah, some people were asking about um, what you do to make a tea. So basically, very simple indeed. You have your herbs and you're just going to make them as small as possible so that when the hot water goes on, it can extract all the water-soluble constituents and make a really good tea. So I'm not going to use the stem, just using leaves of the catnip and the thyme leaves are so tiny and the twiglets are still soft there's not really much need to take those leaves off because it's just would take me all day kettle is coming to the boil I'll just take it off I don't want the water to be absolutely boiling for a medicinal tea so Mmm, what a smell from the catnip. It smells delicious. So, there's a little bit more here. Well, I think I'll just put it all in because I, I might get two mugs of tea out of it. So, that's like one mug, two mugs, a little bit extra. We'll pour the water on. It's just off the boil. It's not quite boiling. And we'll just leave that to infuse for 15 minutes. So it's quarter past four. So I'll be back to this at half past to enjoy a lovely medicinal cup of tea because I'm making this as a medicine, not just as a beverage to drink, which I could do in a couple of minutes if it was an ordinary tea bag. But I'm going to leave this to infuse, to give the hot water a chance to extract all the uh, medicinal constituents that are water soluble. Okay.
So I'm back in out of the chilly wind and I'll just give this a bit of a plunge or two. Mm, cheers, look. Mm. Oh, wow, that's lovely. First smell in the steam is just green, that green garden smell. And then you taste the thyme. Mm. The thyme is really potent. And I love thyme. It makes me feel as if somebody wrapped me up in a blanket and put their arms around me and said everything is okay. That is the feeling of safety and security and care that I get from thyme. Mm. So that's lovely. So I have to remember, it may appear to be a warm, sunny day, but it's only April. And in the northeast of England and possibly elsewhere, there's an old adage that says, take off not a clout till you see May out. And it's a good reminder because we can easily get carried away with a bit of sunshine. So hopefully this will do the trick and I'll get stuck into my wall tomorrow and hope to have some updates on that for next time. So I'll see you next week. Stay well. Hmm. Yummy. I hope you enjoyed today's film. If you did, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And have a look at the website, danusirishherbgarden.com for more information about us and about the herbal medicine courses I offer and the Wise Woman Way training. And if you go to the shop, you can find the books, the weed handbooks and other herbal goodies. And remember, we put a new film out every Sunday. So looking forward to seeing you next week.